Look at this sandwich holder. Yeah, what you got, buddy? Aren't you on a diet? I'm on a diet. Look at this. This sandwich. looks like a fucking bodybuilder. Okay, first off. Whoa, look at that three, depth of field. That's three meals. Three meals for a midget? I'm fucking jacked, bro. I need calories. First off, you're not. I'm not? No. So you got this guy in this August competition? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. He wants it more. Wow. And, and I know the Natty professors help coaching him, so... I'll be on shit. He'll be, he'll be running a lot of shit. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Yeah. You're Even both my... so screwed because once I get pube veins, proving how lean I am, you're getting a dick shot every single morning just so you recognize my veinage. When you get veins, why, why do you, you make? Dick? Why do you make that sound like a bad <laughs> thing? That's a good thing for right. No pube veins. No, when Mark when he gets veins back on his dick. Cause... Yeah, I'm right now. The funny yeah. thing is, we're the same probably body first percent, uh, body fat percentage right now. I'm just your, 30, 40 pounds is your heavier. Your dick bigger now that you've gained weight. No, you don't gain weight in your dick. I did. I was talking about lower ab veins, pubic region, not your actual fucking nuts. My penis gets bigger when I gain weight. That's why Jessica wants me to gain weight. Um, Family Guy has a whole episode about fat, <laughs> fat nobody, people sex. Nobody. Oh, no takers. <laughs> Nobody. No. Nah. Leave the comedy to me. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Silent Mike, Super Train Jim, Mark Wells Podcast. Just showing you guys a little bit of my bench day. Last time I benched for you guys, or you guys saw me benching, I believe, uh, was at Barbell Brigade. That was probably a week, ten days or so before this guy, uh, and I hit a PR in the gym. PR, three hundred eighty-five pounds, smooth enough. It wasn't planned. Uh, it wasn't necessarily peaked for that day. I had actually benched very heavy about a day before that. Um, but I want to continue this going. Uh, at this time, I wasn't benching, or excuse me, I was not squatting or deadlifting. So bench was all I got. Hopped in with my boy Smokey. He wanted to do a little three-week wave um, that Mark's been doing. Uh, and so I just hopped in, but I'm putting my own shit on it. Because I know what works for me, and I feel like I know what works. So uh, he's hitting, I believe, six sets of four. What I want to do is hit three sets, uh, excuse me, five sets of four. Um, and then I hit an AMRAP at the end. So you'll see that as it goes. Basically, all I'm working on with my bench is because I am in a calorie deficit, um, dropping some pounds, I'm adding uh, volume and I'm adding a lot of exercises and exercise variation to my training, both upper and lower body um, during this cut to kind of up that energy expenditure. And also um, it is, you know, kind of quote unquote my off season since that meet uh, didn't go as I planned. I didn't. I uh, wasn't able to compete. Uh, for those that did not hear, I jacked up my back, so I've been hitting the pit shark, Bulgarian squats, some lunges, um, stuff of that nature to try to keep uh, keep my legs strong uh, while I give my low back a break. So um, flat benching has been fine. Uh, current program right now is uh, Sundays. I'm hitting a light bench uh, and heavy shoulders. Uh, rep range kind of vary on that, but I'll do dumbbell uh, seated or dumbbell standing. Uh, continued with bodybuilding movements, uh, back, biceps, and triceps. Tuesday is kind of my heavy leg day where I'm hitting the pit shark, heavy sets of fives, uh, followed by heavy Bulgarians. Lunges, leg curls, kind of the typical stuff. Thursday, which is this day was on a Thursday. Heavier bench, barbell pushing a little bit. Um... Trying to maybe hang around the 80% range or so, maybe 75 to 85, handle some decent weight. Then I move on to some incline presses, uh, a little bit of light shoulders, and then triceps again. I'm trying to hit my arms um, twice a week. I skipped uh, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is another back and bicep. Um, basically what I'm trying to do is hit every muscle uh, twice a week uh, with varying reps, uh, some exercise variation. Not a whole lot, but some exercise variation uh, and varying loads. Uh, in my opinion, to not only build strength, not necessarily for a peak, but build strength in your offseason or general strength, uh, to build a muscle, to build athletes, whatever it may be, we need to train uh, varying loads and then of all sets and rep ranges. Uh, there's different types of muscle fibers, we have different types of work capacities. Um, so I try to hit, you know. 10 to 15 on the bench, uh, 8 to 10 on the bench, and then depending, typically 3 to 6 on the bench. Very similar with my back, obviously. Um, I don't go much below 5s, uh, but I'll hit a heavy chin up of about a 5. Heavy rows, 5 to 10. I'll also hit those 10 to 20 
I know that may seem a little bit boring, but just want to give you guys a little bit of insight on my how my training is going. Um, currently, the pounds are getting off me a little bit. Deficit is working. It's very gradual. Um, check the video before this if you guys want some instructions on some squats, some ideas on accessories, more information coming your guys' way. Uh, a video that will be coming out within this next week is how I plan to cut body fat uh, maintain as much muscle and strength as I can uh, and if you're a little bit less experienced than I I've been training for who knows how many years but powerlifting maybe six seven general training since I was about 15 if you have a little bit less years than me how perhaps you can burn some fat and gain muscle at the same time I kind of break it down for you guys tell you my thoughts and also tell you the method that I plan to uh, continue this cut this gradual cut for a while excited to hopefully get back into deadlifts and squats backs feeling a little bit better uh, took you know three four five weeks off of it been really paying attention to my nutrition still working the legs still getting my work capacity back I'm really trying to get some athleticism back get my lungs back that's it for this one guys I appreciate it subscribe like that bitch I'm out of here Hopefully you can hear me. I know my microphone's jacked up, but we're working on it. This doesn't help the situation. But this entire lifting weights shit is a real mind fuck. I made my own programming. I know the fatigue is real, and you still get frustrated with how weights move. Hit uh, 315. I think five sets of four? Five sets of, uh, no, five sets of four. Hey, Coach Smokey. Five sets of four, and then a set of six or seven for an AMRAP. Oh, yeah, my bad. He's fired. My bad. Uh, best set of 315, I think it's about nine reps after a three by five. So, clearly not my best. You gotta step away from the situation. I'm a little bit less calories. Also, slamming dumbbells. Slamming dumbbells as hard as I can. Pit crew. Oh, was it medium? It's a small, uh, large. I just fucking bloated. So I slammed dumbbells hard on Monday. Shoulders are sore, pecs are sore. Not excuses, just facts. Gotta understand fatigue. Gotta understand the role it plays. Gotta understand that you gotta take a couple steps back to move forward. Smoky, similar situation. A little bit of extra activity here. Call it active recovery. Conditioning shit. Step by step, gonna make that a different situation. You want something, you go get it. I wanna lose a couple LBs. I wanna be a little bit healthier. I wanna be a little bit more mobile. A little bit more agile. A little bit more hostile. So I'm gonna go get it. We're gonna just do this once or twice. All the way there, all the way back, that's it. Finish with a little bit of active recovery for the legs, a little bit of sled pulls. Don't know if you could hear me when I was out there, but uh, something I'm gonna add to get that conditioning in, uh, just general work capacity, uh, general physical preparedness. Back here, just trying to relax. Hammered out some emails before I started class, but it's kind of difficult when the other room, all they're doing is having a fucking rave all the time. Just vibing out. Let's go!